Everything I own's in that room. And now the landlord says he'll sell the lot for back rent. Please, Jack, is there nothing she can do? So now I'm down to nothing. Like it says in the prayer book, we brought nothing into this world and it's certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gave and the Lord's taken away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Aye, well, we'll see about that. Don't blaspheme, Mr. Ford. Who's blaspheme and I'm going to get your furniture back. Nip back the bricklayer's arms. Get the men. Take them to Mrs. Downey's. How oh, many? As many as you can fetch. And see if any of them's got a banner. Go on now, move, Matt. Well, that ought to do it. What, what Come on, Mrs. Mr. Downey, Ford? we're going to get your furniture back. Jack, be careful, mind. Well, there's not there that a bit of break and end one cure. I will not steal. I won't have to, Mrs. Urey. Taken back what's your own. Thou shalt not steal, that's a commandment. And I've seen it broken. Aye, me and all. Not that far away, neither. The wicked shall flourish, the book says. That won't flourish, all right. Good suits, money to burn. Until the polis got it. Shot him, did you? Better to do your punishment in this world, Mr. Ford, than in the hereafter. But you don't have to worry. You'll be among the elect. I've got them! How many? Six. And there's two barracks coming. Where are they? In the back lane. Right. Now you go down with Matt. Two up here, two on the stairs. You and the other two load the barracks, right? Where do we take the stuff? Has Les come? No, he says we're committing an illegal act. Oh, he does, does he? Well, take it to the branch office. And mind you don't get caught, Jack. I'll manage. Go on. On you go. Well, well, Brother Poskett. I'm not one to bear a grudge, Brother Ford. I believe in direct action. I'm glad to see you doing all. Barris, come! Aye! Right, let's get on with it. Right, in you go, lads. Jack, somebody split. The landlord's on the way with the polis. You need a rear guard then. Come on, Jack. Don't talk that. Matt, you'll never get away with two barrels if I don't stop. You could do time for this man. I might have could. A martyr in the workers' cause. You better give that to Mrs. Downey. She'll never leave without it. On your way then, Matt. Move. Take care of Dolly for me. Evening. Did you break in here? I forgot my keys. Oh, did you? And who's taking the furniture? Fairies must have come. On your feet, lad. Don't touch that. All right, constable. I'll come quietly. This is a shocking offence. Appalling, in fact. Your assault on property was wanton, ruthless, and totally unjustified. This court maintains, and will maintain, that such depredations of yours should be stamped out ruthlessly with the utmost rigor of the law. Have you anything to say? Well, of course. To begin with, I don't recognize the validity of this court. It's all very well to say we're all equal under the law. But when you're starving, you're only equal to the next poor bugger who is starving. That will do. Not for me, it won't. That woman had an out. If it had been left to you, she'd be in the workhouse now and her bairns would be in the orphanage. Well, that's not my idea of justice never was and never will be. I did what I could. And I'd think myself less of a man if I hadn't. If 
make this uproar continue as I shall clear the court. All right, lads, all right. Give me his chance. Give me his chance. I shall hear anything more you have to say. Anything relevant, that is. No more political speeches. I reckon you've had enough for one day. With folks like you, it takes a long time to sink in. I've finished. Till the next time. <clears throat> you will go to prison for one month. Wonderful, cunning bastard. <laughs>